Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Well, it looks like can of birds don't spoil the whole thing. She done brought it to the forefront. She's uh, saying that it's just a publicity stunt. That these two human beings up here. Um, Martel and Sheree. He just, he just fooling with her. He just toying with her. And um, Sheree did not see that coming. I'm like, damn Sheree. Like I said yesterday, but I think I said on my video yesterday that I did. She need to go to the convent and be a nurse. No, I meant nun. She need to go to the convent and be a nun. Because her chances of finding a man that is worthy of her, slim to none, slim to none. Because these days, these men want you to take care of them. Okay? Want you to take care of them. And he is one of them. He's just a pretty boy. He's just a playboy. And I keep emphasizing on the word boy. All right. I'm like, damn, Sheree, you couldn't have gotten candy to hook you up with Melanie. Y'all take a little drive down there to Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. Yeah, honey. And see what's wrong with this little <sighs> jokester is what I want to call him. Okay, he looked like the joker. I'm like, whoever told him he was fine as wine and he could get it any time. Y'all just pump that man head all the way up to where he think he could just play over women, period. And some women are very dumb to sit there and be in a relationship with a man like that. But Melody said, oh, hell to the no, no, no. I'm not going to be with him no more. We are getting a divorce. He ain't trying to make it right. He ain't trying to do right. It just uh, is what it is situation. And somehow, Sheree got caught in the middle. Shame and a scandal. Just a shame and a scandal. Now, luckily, Candy went on to V103 over there with Shamia. Tossing it up. Talking it up. And Candy remembers a time way back when, when one of her friends and Martel wanted to go to a restaurant and basically make it seem like they were in a relationship you know for the bloggers to go the local bloggers to catch them in action and you know put a story out there just to keep their name out in the people's minds and society which i don't just do some charity work and publicize it martel that's all you had to do if you want to stay in the minds of the people which i don't even watch uh what is it? Love and Marriage Huntsville. My brother do. He likes it. But I did not like the, the D.C. one. But they even got on my nerves. I'm like, we as black women got to start acting so dumb and so stupid and, and, and ignorant to the fact that your man just may be cheating on you. Instead of dogging a woman out and they're standing the bird and, and trying to make a whole situation, another whole situation. No, that man just sat up there and lied to you. He getting it in with anybody he want to. As long as they know how to keep it on their low low. And I was glad Candy was over there visiting B103 radio station. And talking to a, a radio personality. I don't know the guy's name. But um, that one, uh, the lady name is Shamia. And she was dropping all kinds of gems. All kinds of gems. And I'm like, honey, Candy, you should have called Sheree on the phone. Let her know you was there. And did she have anything she wanted to say? Because he didn't, she didn't want it to go another day with knowing that Martel may be playing on your heartstrings. But I'm just saying, Sheree, are you cursed or something? Are you like attracting cheaters and men that ain't going to be no good or men that cannot be uh, true to you? Okay, because I don't know what you were doing with uh, Tyrone over there. 
being in jail for what three years and you call yourself waiting on him and stuff ah <sighs> sheree you made yourself look too damn stupid your children thought you were stupid and crazy they probably thought you had to go get your head examined with your head screwed on correctly because i mean to be pining over a man that you really never really got a chance to know prior to him going into the jailhouse being incarcerated for a couple of years or several years and then he come out and tries to embarrass you and i mean embarrass the hell out of you that's why i think it's safe to say you just need to be a nun you don't need to be worried about getting no man you should just be worried about yourself in the lord but if you can't be a nun sure just be by yourself honey don't claim no more men don't claim no more men unless, unless they want to claim they claim you out in public. But you don't need to be telling nobody you dating, you seeing somebody, none of this. Because it seems like you're just having a hard time. And Melanie is living her best life with four kids and her career. And she's trying to be a singer on the side. And she knows Beyonce personally. Whoo, she got a win-win. And I don't know, maybe uh, Player Boy... That's what we're going to call him. Playboy. Player boy. Maybe he just just thinks he's just too good. He needs to share his goodies with everybody and anybody he choose or deem appropriate. You know, that he should um, be messing with. And for him to say Sheree is not his type. Sheree looks just like Melody in a sense. They're both gorgeous women. They're both in shape. Have lovely bodies. And one thing I can say, Melanie has a business. Sheree, oh, it's kind of like... It's up in the air. Only thing we have is a marquee. We have She by Sheree. And several different. She don't even have that trademark right. You know it's like one little logo. Oh, but anyway. It, it just is what it is. But Sheree. Isn't a liar per se. I can't say that. I can't attest to that. Um, That's pretty much what I can say about Sheree. Because I haven't found, well, then again, no, Sheree is a liar because she be saying some things like she don't remember certain things that happened. And we know damn for sure you remember what you said as shading somebody else. Like the point when Marla was out there at that little Jamaican restaurant that uh, Sonya had rented for y'all to have a meet and greet and a dinner type of session. And Marla took you out to the courtyard or some sitting out place outside. And, uh, she, you know, you were agreeing everything with what Marla was saying. You were saying facts. I'm like, you too old to be saying some slang, some lingo with the kids are saying. Now, you should have said true. Or I concur with your analysis. You see what I'm saying? You didn't have to say no facts. You, you're not a young bird, Sheree. Stick to the script or what you know. you 50 some years old. However you got down uh, in your latter years, I mean, your earlier years, Keep to that format, okay? Because you sound kind of silly saying facts. But when people were trying to bring it to light, that Shia Sheree and, and Marlo was talking about Candy and Kenya real bad and this, that, and the third. And Kenya going, I mean, uh, Sheree going to go up there and say, oh, I don't remember saying that. Like, we have some shady ass producers and they will play back everything in your face. They got Kenya a couple of times, and now they got Sheree and Marlo. But I was like, see, that's Beyonce, and that's Melanie Hope. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I think that's Beyonce, y'all. At least I, I think that. That's why I put the picture down and say what I said. But Markel, he wants to be a playboy, and he wants to put stuff out there, just like Candace said. To keep people talking about him. And. The only way he can keep. That scenario going on. If Carlos King tell him something to do. And he's stupid enough to go out there and do it. He's more like a do boy playboy type. Individual. But like I said. He's a fake. He's fake fraudulent foolery. And, and fakery. He, he's all my four F's. And I understand why. If Melanie can get it. Candy can get it. Why the hell Sheree can't get it? You know what I'm saying? Why does Sheree still act all crazy out here? I mean, it's not like she's getting any younger. She's getting older. And it's like her, her daughter should be able to check her in some type. 
a stand. So getting their mama together and just not looking like a fool out here. But anyway, we're going to go into what page six had wrote up. It was a Riley Cardoza who put the piece out for us to elaborate on. And um, it's a title given Candy Burris Fields Martell Holt is using Sheree Whitfield for publicity. Well, honey, a blind man could see all of that coming from a long way. All right, with his shades on. A blind man could have seen that working its way out. But going back to the article, it states, Candy Burris is questioning the validity of Martell Holt's relationship with her real housewife of Atlanta co-star, Sheree Whitfield. I don't want her to be in a situation where it feels like she's being used for publicity. The former single 46 said on Atlanta's v on 3 radio station when asked about the budding romance. Burris went on to tell Shamil Morton a story about one of her friends and fellow reality stars who she didn't name going on a date with the Love and Marriage Huntsville star 40. E earlier this year at her Blaze restaurant. Now I'm thinking, hmm, friend of Candy. You think that was Kenya, y'all? Y'all, you think Kenya was messing with Martell for a storyline? Hell, that's all I could really understand unless it was somebody from Love and Hip Hop. I can't imagine. You think Dream Dog was uh, with him? Okay, I don't know. I'm just throwing out some names. See if it'll stick. Didn't look like it stuck anywhere, so we're going to go on with the article. It says, she was like, we're going to have somebody take our pictures and video so they can post it. The Bravo personality recalled. But no blog really posted anything worth anything. Burris continued on the weird circumstance. My whole point was now that I see the similarities or similar situation. I'm like, is he doing this? Is he genuine or is he doing the same thing that he was doing to the other person? I like, click it out, click it. Put it together, Candy. Put the pieces of the puzzle together and give us one big picture. Because we, we know it's over here at the house. We know it's hell. So please get us straight. And put Sheree back on the right path, the right road, okay? Told her she need to be a, a, a nun. That's what she need to be. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, News broke on Tuesday that Whitfield 52 has been dating Holt for more than two months with Ohio natives telling TMZ that they met through a mutual friend and were just hanging out. She added, I'm enjoying life right now. And I'm like, did Carlos King put y'all up here for the bullshit? Because that's what it's smelling like. And it seems that's what it's cooking up to be. A fake, fraudulently, foolish, fakery type of fuckery. Uh scenario y'all got going on y'all think we just supposed to like eat it up and say yes it's a real relationship no it's not because martell is really nobody i mean he's a reality star uh but he's not really doing anything and then i heard he was a pool boy a contractor and from what Kim Pyre said on his youtube station was that he's uh, it's not licensed. <laughs> he hadn't passed his contractual license yet. <sighs> the drama just keeps on going. So you mean to tell me, Sheree, you hired him on the low to fix you a pool, build you a pool out there, but he don't have a contract, contractor license? Now, what if he put the dimensions of your pool a certain way and prop it up a certain way, and then it's uneven. One big uh, water pile is going to the end of the opposite side of the pool, and none is getting on the other side. So you're going to hire somebody who don't have their license to build stuff like that. Who are you going to sue if the, the end job is not done correctly? Are you going to sue the man that you're supposed to be having a relationship with? Girl. Oh, no, he needs to get his contractual license to be able to do anything contracting, constructing for you, Sheree. Because this is a hot mess. It's a hot mess, girl. A hot mess. 
Ooh, and I wish I could find that article where, I don't know if it was Steve Harvey, Mar Marjorie Har Harvey had read that you were having some problems with getting contractors to finish your house and stuff and uh, or your basement was flooding or something to that degree. I heard it or read it somewhere, y'all. Maybe y'all heard the same shit and y'all can get in the comments and tell me where exactly I had got that information. But um, I think it was Marjorie Harvey um, made Steve or, or suggested Steve to help you out to get somebody to fix your basement or something to that degree. And that's how you got it constructed and finished. Now, again, just like we're wondering, well, I ain't really wondering because I pretty much got it sold up in my head that she's a call girl. And we're talking about old Marlo. Okay. Now, just like we don't know where she really get her money from, Troy, we're trying to figure out where you're getting your money from, love. Because you wasn't on this show for, you know, for, for a minute. You weren't on here, but you were still getting nice shit. Because even some other bloggers were saying um, that you have a very nice house, Al, from soul fox soul over there with uh claudia jordan's uh platform he said you had a nice house all the women on the housewives said you had a ho a nice house especially candy burris okay and she was like it's like you're walking in a museum ain't nothing out of order ain't nothing out of place everything just looked marvelous very, very beautiful even kenya gave um sheree a compliment so, because she was comparing it to how she furnished off and finished her home, how her fashion should be as well. But again, you know, the, the taping's already over with. We're looking at the um, the program insightfully each Sunday, waiting to see the shenanigans. But yet in hell, we still haven't seen she by Sheree clothing line. Not even a hat, a glove, some socks. Some, you know, what do you call it? Exercise equipment, some dumbbells, you know, a mat, a straw, a container, you know, something to the effect. But we were waiting on the apparels. But again, it seems like you're coming up empty handed as well. So I guess that's why you were fooled by Martel and his shenanigans. Because, child, he don't want you. He don't even, he didn't even want his wife, okay? He kept making excuses of why he cheated. But the simple fact is, is that he was no damn good. And Melanie don't figure that out. But going back to the article, it said, While the duo have yet to make things Instagram officially, the outlet did obtain a video of them snapping selfies at a beach. Whitfield previously dated Tyrone Gilliams, then... And their split was documented on the Bravo show this year. The fashion designer has been a cast member since 2008. Burris, for her part, joined the following year. Now, okay, fashion designer, that's gone a little bit too overboard, page six. A little bit too overboard because she knows how to buy clothes. She knows what clothes uh, cost this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But we, we can't say she has. she's a designer. Because she's not. We don't have any fashions from her. From her clothing line. She by Sheree. Owner Sheree Whitfield. We haven't seen anything. So that's a little bit misleading. Page 6. But anyway. Going back. To the article. It says the reality star clashed last month. At the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Marlo Hampton accused Burris of being a hoe. Who effed everybody for free. Pre-reality TV. And Whitfield nodded along to the 46-year-old claims. Yes, I just got finished talking about that. Now, Dana, see how things connect? We're making a big picture puzzle here. Stay with me, people. Okay, and then going back to the article, it says, I was more surprised by Sheree co-signing everything Marla was saying. Burris told Access Hollywood in June. I expect that from Marlo, but not Sheree. I was dumb when I saw that. I was totally shocked because I haven't, even done anything to charade i don't even understand where this energy is coming from it's just totally threw me off <laughs> can i'm like are you really serious right now you still holding on to that see can i told you stop holding on to stuff just let it ride just let if you know you didn't infringe on nobody and nobody seems to want to hear your story or you don't really want to tell it just let it ride just let, let, let it play by itself and it's gonna die down it will die down and that's not for you. That's not against you. You see what I'm saying? That's a smart move. Start playing uh, chess, not checkers, baby. But anyway, I'm beginning to think. <sighs> Kenny, did you, you spoil some surprise uh, that they were supposed to have had a relationship? Because, hell, she really looking kind of suspect right now. I'm thinking she in with the shenanigans as well. She probably wanted to play the role. So, 
people can continue to keep her name and his name in their uh, mouth. I'm really thinking Carlos King is conspiring with them to keep their names up in the public eye. So when he makes another move, whether he wants to bring Sheree over there to the Huntsville group or he want to bring Martell over, well, he can't bring Martell nowhere because, well, yeah, he can. If he's going to make Atlanta, um... Love, what is it? Love and marriage in Atlanta. Uh, because I couldn't see where Martell would even be a former opponent in any other reality show except for the DC, I mean, for the uh, Huntsville brand. And I can't see Sheree moving to Huntsville, Alabama to be with her supposedly boyfriend, uh, leaving her Chateau Sheree. After she spent years and years trying to get it the way it looks, okay? So, um, that's all I got, y'all. I just want to tell you, Ken don't came and spilled the beans on the so-called relationship that is not a relationship, as what she's saying. It's very questionable. It's very questionable. Now, we need Sheree to bring her ass on back out here on this public forum. Have an interview with who and that, whoever, but she need to come back and say say her piece because he showed up there saying stuff to people, putting it out there, having his friends go back and report it to the bloggers here in Atlanta or wherever it is that the paparazzi may be floating around, wanting to pay for stories or whatnot. Um, you need to come on out and Shrey and tell us what's going on because we already got this foolishness between Kenya. Uh, and Chronicle Speech, y'all go on over there and see her. I listen to her. I get a little kiki here and there. She's a very good blogger. Been around for a long time. Again, that's Chronic. What is it? Chronicle Speaks. Chronicle Speak. I think that's what it is. But anyway, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see you all on the next video. Good night.